Hello everybody and welcome to my X Files today. We are doing a wash in the Becco, but this is sorry in the Bosch WE two four one six seven. It's going to be a big wash today. So what we got is we got a load of aprons and tea towels in here. Loads of them. So. So we got tea towels, we got dishcloths, we got every kind of thing you can think of. Or it's mainly aprons really. So there we go. So that's the load of course. Quite big. There we go. It's distributed. Out. You really need to use two in there. Fabric softener, flat. So there's your suds. And it's going to go all the way to a Cotton's 90 with no options selected. So you've never seen a 90s wash at all. So, well, you actually have seen a 90, but haven't seen it for a long time. So there we go, it will be beginning on slow tumbles first Then when it goes to fast tumbles it will start heating up washing machine is now at 90 degrees because it, I can feel it on my hands it's really boiling hot really really boiling hot Taking all the suds away. Continuing on, the washing machine is extremely hot still to touch. I put in some like slightly more suds to more or less make sure that it sanitizes good. Good. Not much is going on down there when I try to say I turn on the light it's water basin. The washer is now activating a cool down which is basically a first rinse basically 
at this moment. Which is just like some other wa older washers, is that they usually have a first rinse before their first intermit spin, usually. And that water is very dirty. You can see what uh, was said about trying to sanitize them because that is dirty water. It's actually in there. I'm balanced. Oh, God. look how unbalanced that is. That is crazy. jumping as well. Crazy jumping there. Yeah, this is what basically the spins usually look like when I, when I see you or the other staff members do this. Extremely unbalanced. Well, yeah, and it does make a few creases on the rubber. Some are... Some on this uh, that have been inflicted on this washing machine has been actually... This washing machine has been actually uh, permanent. Oh, I'm balanced even more than last time! This is the second internment spin. And look at this. Is it me or is it getting worse? There you go, there's the jumping water as well. Now, 
and need some help from the light, I think. Because I saw a bit of water activity. See some jumping water. Nah, that's just the light shining. There's not much water jumping like last time, but that is not good. That is so not good. That's, a, that's actually uh, starting to get pressure release now. Because look at that, that's crazy. This is just crazy, what? Why is it doing unbalanced spins whilst it's only got a few aprons soon? It hasn't even got a full load. Jesus Christ, what a spin! What a serious and bounce spin. That's probably the most and bounce spin I've ever seen. What's just happened there? That is bad. Washing machine is now on its final rinse stage. So it's using, of course, my fabric softness, the sunny stuff. So that's what I'm using as fabric softener, which means that this would be a sudsy kind of rinse. Washing machine is on its final spin stage. It's balanced this time.
fuzzy, I can't activate the water thingy, but there is it's definitely some things going on down in there. Should start boiling up to the surface very soon. Some suds has been chewed up, <laughs> swollen. Oh, oh, we got some bubbling, we got some bubbling. Well, wow. yeah, here we go. That is crazy what? Look at all this. It's crazy what? Why is it? Got water starting to jump all over like that. That is crazy what? Yeah, that looks crazy from there too. When you have it on a normal stand, it's so by. Oh no. Now this bit is like uh, when the washing machine is going to do something similar to the Hot Point WMA series washing machines where it just comes down for its spin, spin and then it cranks up back up to uh, the high spin speed again. The thing is, it's distributing for that. definitely unbalanced that's going to have consequences
Oh my god. That's jumping. It's getting very unbalanced now. Washing up, going, going up the washroom right now. That is crazy. Blow me out. That was brilliant. Now it's on its third uh, final dream. So, with that said, let's go and see the results, shall we? Smells alright, but it's not a pungent one. Smell. Yeah, it seems alright. More of that. So, yeah, that's it. That's all the wash done inside the Bosch WAE2 for 167 on the longest wash, I believe, which is the 90. But without any of the additional stuff that would have made it longer, which is Eco Perfect Aqua Plus or reduced ironing. So, with that said, I'll be uh, hanging them out uh, upon that thing soon. So, thank you for watching my X Files, and I'll see you again next time for some more Washing Mayhem slugheads. Oh, by the, but before I, I forgot saying that the washing machine has some. Um, had just uh, made some incredibly unbalanced spins you'll probably be seeing more of those but the thing is that is worse than one of the baddest out of all the washers that, that uh, are actually on this channel so probably more worse than the AEG probably more worse than my Indesit probably worse than um, the Zanussi probably worse than you know, probably on par, maybe on par or worse than the AEG Electrolux 64810. So, um, thank so, yet again, thank you for watching my X Files, and see you again next time. Suck it!